Yo, what's up world? It's your boy Philotko here and today we're going to have a quick video on the schwa sound. That's right, the schwa sound. Now the schwa sound is the most common sound used in the English language. So of course it's important for you to know it. Now what does this schwa sound sound like? Well, it sounds just like this. Uh, uh, uh. And this sound is used in many, many words, but it's usually used in unstressed syllables. For example, let's take the word chocolate. Chocolate. Now, a syllable in here that's not really stressed is co. C O. So how do we say it? Chocolate. Chocolate. That's how we actually say it. Because that syllable in the middle is not stressed much at all, we give it the schwa. We just schwa it and say chocolate. Easy. So, let's get to 10 words that involve the schwa sound. And from top to bottom on this list here, I'm going to review them with you so you know how to pronounce them properly like a casual average American. The first word is A. Now, how do we schwa A basically? The whole word gets schwa. It's just A. Uh. When you use the letter A in a sentence, when you're using it as a word, it gets schwa. For example, I have a dollar in my pocket is actually I have a dollar in my pocket. A girl I know is here. Instead of saying that, I would most likely say, a girl I know is here. A, uh, schwa, to the next word. And the next word is to, T-O, to. So let's take this example sentence. Let's go to Miami. Let's go to Miami. But to sound more casual, we schwa to. We say, let's go to Miami. Let's go to Miami. Like that. Let's go to Miami. It gets schwa to the next word, the, the. I like the end of that movie. It was pretty cool. But more casual, I like the end of that movie. It was pretty cool. Next word, mirror. A lot of people have a problem with the word mirror, especially when they don't schwa where they're supposed to. In the word mirror, where you're supposed to use the schwa sound is at the end of the word, the last syllable. So it's not mirror, it's supposed to be mirror. Mirror. When you look at yourself and do your makeup, or guys, you shave, you're looking in the mirror. The end of it gets schwad. Easy. Next word. Memory. Memory. Do you know which syllable here gets schwad? Well, it's the syllable in the middle. Memory. 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 Next word. Data or data. Obviously, the last syllable here gets schwad. It's data. Like information. Please don't say data. I know I taught a lot of people to open their mouths on a lot of A sounds in English, but data is not one of them. You just say data. Uh. Next word, bigger. How do we do this one? Well, this mostly occurs in almost every word that ends in an ER. We always finish off the last syllable that has the ER with the schwa. So instead of bigger, it's bigger. Same thing with faster, same thing with dealer. Between. What could you schwa here in between? Well, it's the first syllable because it's not actually between. We say between. Like, I would like to go between those two buildings and take some photos. It looks cool. I would like to go between those two buildings. Easy. Next one. Other. Other. And this one is the first syllable, the first vowel, the first letter. It gets the schwa. Other. Next one. Pencil. Pencil. Which one gets schwad here? Well, it's not the first one because then it'll be puzzle. So it's actually pencil. Pencil. Yes, there is a a uh there. Pencil. Like that. Pencil. Next and last one. And the last word is about. About. The first letter, the first syllable gets the schwa. About. Now, these are only 10 examples in which the schwa sound is used. What my suggestion to you is, whenever you're learning a new word and you haven't heard this word pronounced by a native speaker, it won't hurt to quickly look in a dictionary and see if the schwa sound is used here. Because when you learn to use the schwa sound and all of the words it needs to be used in, you will sound a million times more American. Trust me. The schwa sound is worth to look into. And there we go. And that's the end of the episode for today. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned new stuff. Be sure to add me, vk.com slash 
that's me, and subscribe to my YouTube page to see all of my videos. The schwa sound, very important. Learn to understand which words have it and which words don't. And I'm basically out of here. Later. And... And don't be racist. <laughs> so don't be ra That is his catchphrase, the don't be